Ridge Racer 3D, an absolute gem of a game. Yeah, no kidding. This was definitely the bomb back in its day. Dude, I used to grind that game like there was no tomorrow. I'd play it so much that my eyes would turn red. Treasy, I think your eyes were turning red for a different reason. Such a beautiful game. Um, I'll admit that I didn't quite like it that much at first, but over time it just grew on me so quickly. It's honestly just so fun to play, but it is such a bummer that it didn't get the recognition that it deserved. It's amazing. Right, so now that we're done reminiscing, how's about we get to ranking these cars, huh? Yes! And we start off with the very first one, the Kamada Fiera. Gotta be honest, this car just screams mid. But it also gives off strong vibes of a starter car, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I think you're being a bit too harsh. The Fiera is amazing. It has a reasonable speed and is very easy to control. Definitely the most perfectly balanced car in the game. Fair point, but given the fact that you unlock not one but two cars for free after completing the first event, it's pretty easy to stray off it. To be fair, its Category 3 version is really good. Really high speed and still easy to control. It's not exceptional, but there's nothing to hate about it. B-tier definitely suits it best. Next is the Wisdom. This one is pretty decent. It's alright, I guess. Easy enough to handle, not the biggest fan of its design though, and that ear-bleeding engine sound always gave me a headache. Tree hugger, you literally get faded on a daily with all the substances that you take, and you're complaining about a car sound giving you a headache? Chill out, I have no idea what you're talking about. On that note, the ear-blasting sound that came from this car's engine is what made it so special and fun to use, in my opinion. Being honest, that's the only special thing about the wisdom. Other than that, there's nothing else. With how similar it is to the Fiera, I just never saw the point in buying it. I'll put it C-tier mostly due to it having a price tag. Kinda harsh, but I can live with that. Next is the Profity. This one's pretty mid. Most of the mild cars are mid, honestly. Take that back! Wait, Hurry, what? take it back before it's too late! How dare you disrespect the greatest car in the game like that? The Profity the greatest car in the game? How so? Hear me out. This car is a monster. It's got a very high speed considering it's a mild car. It builds up nitrous fast for a mild car, too. With the Profity, you have full Damn, control Jade. over your drifting, it's not allowing that good. for incredible You're just runs. Over Shut the f*** up and let me talk. It also has such a beautiful, compact design. It's the perfect car. Nothing tops this legend. Mad respect, Jade. We let you cook and you really delivered. I see the age Profity in a completely new light now. I always had a soft spot for this car, too. The way it handles is just so satisfying. Definitely one of the best in the game. After hearing that, this car is an easy A tier. Fine. A tier it is. But don't tell me that we're putting the Tarazi Wild Gang there too. No, not this one. Like, it's the slowest in the game, but that's a given, since it has other minor factors that make up for it, like fast slipstreaming and small size to squeeze through corners. Other than that, I had a serious problem with it losing so much speed when drifting with how slow it is already. Not to mention how it builds nitrous so slowly. I don't think it's that bad. It's honestly fun to use once you get used to it. I do hate that it charges nitrous slowly, though. And with that being said, I think we can all settle for D tier on this one. Works for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't get any better from here. The Tarazi Star Nose is really disappointing. Same stats as the Wild Gang, but doesn't have fast speed buildup when slipstreaming. Not to mention that it's long, so it can't squeeze through tight gaps quite as well as the Wild Gang does. That's what she said. Oh, oh God I damn knew it. you were gonna Took say the that. words right out of my mouth with that one. Anyways, I have to agree with yous on this one. There's just nothing going for this car at all. Pretty trash. Looks like we have our first F tier. I've noticed that we have quite the trend here with having one car per tier thus far. And that trend is going to continue with this next car we have here. Ah, the Lucky and Wild Eruption. Think we can all agree that this one is a boss. I'm like so loving this one. Like it's fast, it's powerful, it looks totes amazing, and it's fucking free, baby. Surely I'm not the only one who used it for the whole of Category 4 in their first playthrough. Now nah, I'm with you there, Marble. This car can be challenging to control at first, but after a while it becomes second nature. And you can reap all the benefits. To S tier you go. And now we have the last of the Category 4 cars, the Danver High Knight. This one's an interesting one. It has a really great design to it, and has incredible speed and nitrous charge rate. However, it only has four gears, which in turn makes it have slow acceleration, and it's also really hard to drift in corners. Personally, I think the design is a little overrated. It could have been more. Oh, now I know. Okay I did there, not just hear those words come out of your mouth. The Danver High Knight is an absolute classic. It is based off of a Cadillac. Takes me back to the good old days of my childhood. Treasy, 
Those Cadillacs were made back in like the 50s. You were born in the 90s. Actually, I was born in the 80s. Yeah, 1989, so same thing. But my point is... Oh, Jamie, my... Oh, oh, this my car God. has Sounding like a hurricane siren there. ever need. Such a beautiful sounding car. It fills the air with positive vibes all around. It has such a unique low body design. And the grill at the front just Better hold on to your horses, guys. All your sorrows away. The long, thin headlights are two hours later. Oh, so well designed. Man, well -designed. how long has she been going for? It has been Enough quite a to while. Clear hasn't your it? chakras. You're telling me we're talking about cleaning chakras it's a now. How this Six hours later. Oh. How the f did we even get what here? What is she doing? Poor oh, God Almighty, what did I do to deserve this? Take me now, please. Two thousand years later. It really does bring back memories left forgotten and nostalgia that isn't even there. Which is why the Danver High Knight is undoubtedly the greatest car in Ridge Race history. Ah, thank goodness it's over. Yeah, I was literally about to blow a gasket there. What a touching speech, tree hugger. I'd honestly put it S tier just to commend your efforts. Hmm. Nah, don't bother. I just wanted to share my opinion on it. I think B tier is fair for all of us. Tree hugger, you fucking knacker! You made us sit through hours of your bullshit speech on this shit box just for you to say you want it B tier. You have to be fucking my ass right now! Just end me now. I don't even have the energy to get angry anymore. Man, you guys are real cold. If you could lower your voice down a skosh, it would be very much appreciated. I see why Discord had issues when meeting you for the first time. Oh no, Discord was just very possessive of Fluttershy. That's why. Honestly, that guy talks so much, I don't know how anyone can put up with him. He talks a lot. Are you? You know what? I'm just going to put this in B tier and move on. I don't want to fight any more battles today. Did someone say battle? Not now, Nimona.